Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer WISE, Observatory Code C51, is a NASA infrared wavelength astronomical space telescope launched in December 2009, and placed in hibernation mode in February 2011. It was reactivated in 2013. WISE discovered thousands of minor planets and numerous star clusters. Its observations also supported the discovery of the first wide dwarf and Earth Trojan asteroid. Wise performed an all sky astronomical survey with images in 3.4, 4.6, 12, and 22 micrometers wavelength range bands, over 10 months using a 40 cm diameter infrared telescope in Earth orbit. After its hydrogen coolant depleted, a four-month mission extension called NEOWISE was conducted to search for near-Earth objects such as comets and asteroids using its remaining capability. The all-sky data including processed images, source catalogs and raw data, was released to the public on March 14, 2012, and is available at the Infrared Science Archive. In August 2013, NASA announced it would reactivate the WISE telescope for a new three-year mission to search for asteroids that could collide with Earth. Science operations and data processing for WISE and NEOWISE take place at the Infrared Processing and Analysis Center at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. Topic: <laughs> Mission Goals. The mission was planned to create infrared images of 99% of the sky, with at least eight images made of each position on the sky in order to increase accuracy. The spacecraft was placed in a 525 km 326 miles, circular, polar, sun-synchronous orbit for its 10-month mission, during which it has taken 1.5 million images, one every 11 seconds. The satellite orbited above the Terminator, its telescope pointing always to the opposite direction to the Earth, except for pointing towards the Moon, which was avoided, and its solar cells towards the Sun. Each image covers a 47 arcminute field of view, which means a 6 arcsecond resolution. Each area of the sky was scanned at least 10 times at the equator, the poles were scanned at theoretically every revolution due to the overlapping of the images. The produced image library contains data on the local solar system, the Milky Way, and the more distant universe. Among the objects WISE studied are asteroids, cool, dim stars such as brown dwarfs, and the most luminous infrared galaxies. <laughs> <laughs> Targets outside the solar system Stellar nurseries, which are covered by interstellar dust, are detectable in infrared, since at this wavelength electromagnetic radiation can penetrate the dust. Infrared measurements from the WISE Astronomical Survey have been particularly effective at unveiling previously undiscovered star clusters. Examples of such embedded star clusters are Carmago 18 Carmago 440, Maja S101, and Maja S116. In addition, galaxies of the young universe and interacting galaxies, where star formation is intensive, are bright in infrared. On this wavelength the interstellar gas clouds are also detectable, as well as proto-planetary disks. WISE satellite was expected to find at least 1,000 of those proto-planetary disks. <laughs> Targets within the Solar System WISE was not able to detect Kuiper belt objects, because their temperatures are too low. It was able to detect any objects warmer than 70 to 100 K. A Neptune sized object would be detectable out to 700 astronomical units, a Jupiter mass object out to one light year, 63,000 astronomical units, where it would still be within the Sun's zone of gravitational control. A larger object of 2 to 3 Jupiter masses would be visible at a distance of up to 7 to 10 light years. At the time of planning, it was estimated that WISE would detect about 300,000 main belt asteroids, of which approximately 100,000 will be new, and some 700 near Earth objects, NEO, including about 300 undiscovered. That translates to about 1,000 new main belt asteroids per day, and 1 to 3 NEOs per day. 
The peak of magnitude distribution for NEOs will be about 21 to 22 VYs would detect each typical solar system object 10 to 12 times over about 36 hours in intervals of 3 hours. Topic spacecraft construction of the WISE telescope was divided between Ball Aerospace and Technologies Spacecraft, Operations Support, SSG Precision Optronics, Inc. Telescope, Optics, Scan Mirror, DRS and Rockwell Focal Planes, Lockheed Martin Cryostat, Cooling for the Telescope, and Space Dynamics Laboratory Instruments, Electronics, and Testing. The program was managed through the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The WISE instrument was built by the Space Dynamics Laboratory in Logan, Utah. The WISE spacecraft bus was built by Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corp. in Boulder, Colorado. The spacecraft is derived from the Ball Aerospace RS 300 spacecraft architecture, particularly the NextSat spacecraft built for the successful Orbital Express mission launched on March 9, 2007. The flight system has an estimated mass of 560 kg pounds. The spacecraft is three-axis stabilized, with body-fixed solar arrays. It uses a high-gain antenna in the Ku band to transmit to the ground through the TDRSS geostationary system. Ball also performed the testing and flight system integration. Mission WISE surveyed the sky in four wavelengths of the infrared band, at a very high sensitivity. Its design specified as goals that the full sky atlas of stacked images it produced have five sigma sensitivity limits of 120, 160, 650, and 2600 microjanskis micro JY at 3.3, 4.7, 12, and 23 micrometers aka microns. WISE achieved at least 68, 98, 860, and 5,400 micro JY 5 sigma sensitivity at 3.4, 4.6, 12, and 22 micrometers for the WISE All Sky data release. This is a factor of 1,000 times better sensitivity than the survey completed in 1983 by the IRIS satellite in the 12 and 23 micrometers micron bands, and a factor of 500,000 times better than the 1990s survey by the Cosmic Background Explorer satellite at 3.3 and 4.7 micrometers. On the other hand, IRIS could also observe 60 and 100 micron wavelengths. Band 1 to 3.4 micrometers microns broadband sensitivity to stars and galaxies Band 2 to 4.6 micrometers detect thermal radiation from the internal heat sources of substellar objects like brown dwarfs Band 3 to 12 micrometers detect thermal radiation from asteroids Band 4 to 22 micrometers, sensitivity to dust in star-forming regions material with temperatures of 70 to 100 kelvins the primary mission lasted 10 months, one month for checkout, six months for a full sky survey, then an additional three months of survey until cryogenic coolant which kept the instruments at 17K ran out. The partial second survey pass facilitated the study of changes e orbital movement in observed objects. Topic. Congressional hearing On November 8, 2007, the House Committee on Science and Technology Subcommittee on Space and Aeronautics held a hearing to examine the status of NASA's Near-Earth Object survey program. The prospect of using WISE was proposed by NASA officials. NASA officials told committee staff that NASA plans to use WISE to detect near Earth objects in addition to performing its science goals. It was projected that WISE could detect 400 NEOs or roughly 2% of the estimated NEO population of interest within its one year mission. Results 
By October 2010, over 33,500 new asteroids and comets were discovered, and nearly 154,000 solar system objects were observed by WISE. Discovery of an ultra cool brown dwarf, WISE PCJ045853.90 plus 643,451.9, about 10 to 30 light years away from Earth, was announced in late 2010 based on early data. In July 2011 it was announced that WISE had discovered the first Earth Trojan asteroid, 2010 TK7. Also, the third closest star system, Lumen 16. As of May 2018, WISE, NEOWISE has also discovered 290 near-Earth objects and comets see section below. <laughs> Project milestones. The WISE mission is led by Edward L. Wright of the University of California, Los Angeles. The mission has a long history under Wright's efforts, and was first funded by NASA in 1999 as a candidate for a NASA Medium Class Explorer mission under the name Next Generation Sky Survey the history of the program from 1999 to date is briefly summarized as follows. January 1999. NGSS is one of five missions selected for a Phase A study, with an expected selection in late 1999 of two of these five missions for construction and launch, one in 2003 and another in 2004. Mission cost is estimated at $139 million at this time. March 1999. Wire Infrared Telescope spacecraft fails within hours of reaching orbit. October 1999 Winners of MIDEX study are awarded, and NGSS is not selected. October 2001 NGSS proposal is resubmitted to NASA as a MIDEX mission. April 2002 NGSS proposal is accepted by the NASA Explorer Office to proceed as one of four MIDEX programs for a pre phase A study. December 2002 NGSS changes its name to Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer WISE. March 2003 NASA releases a press release announcing WISE has been selected for an extended Phase A study, leading to a decision in 2004 on whether to proceed with the development of the mission. April 2003 Ball Aerospace is selected as the spacecraft provider for the WISE mission. April 2004 WISE is selected as NASA's next MIDEX mission. WISE's cost is estimated at $208 million at this time. November 2004 NASA selects the Space Dynamics Laboratory at Utah State University to build the telescope for WISE. October 2006 WISE is confirmed for development by NASA and authorized to proceed with development. Mission cost at this time is estimated to be $300 million. December 14, 2009 WISE successfully launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. December 29, 2009 WISE successfully jettisoned instrument cover. January 6, 2010 WISE first light image released. January 14, 2010 WISE begins its regular four-wavelength survey scheduled for nine months' duration. It is expected to cover 99% of the sky with overlapping images in the first six months and continuing with a second pass until the hydrogen coolant is exhausted about three months later. January 25, 2010 WISE detects a never-before-seen near-Earth asteroid, designated 2010 AB78. February 11, 2010 WISE detects a previously unknown comet, designated P. 2010 B2 WISE. February 25, 2010. WISE website reports it has surveyed over a quarter of the sky to a depth of seven overlapping image frames. April 10, 2010. WISE website reports it has surveyed over half of the sky to a depth of seven overlapping image frames. May 26, 2010. WISE website reports it has surveyed over three quarters of the sky to a depth of seven overlapping image frames. July 16, 2010. 
Press release announces that total sky coverage will be completed on July 17, 2010. About half of the sky will be mapped again before the instrument's block of solid hydrogen coolant sublimes and is exhausted. October 2010 WISE hydrogen coolant runs out. Start of NASA Planetary Division funded NEOWISE mission. January 2011 Entire sky surveyed to an image density of at least 16 plus frames, i.e., second scan of sky completed. February 17, 2011 WISE spacecraft transmitter turned off at 12 o'clock noon PST by Principal Investigator Ned Wright. The spacecraft will remain in hibernation without ground contacts awaiting possible future use. April 14, 2011 – Preliminary release of data covering 57% of the sky as seen by WISE. July 27, 2011 – First Earth Trojan asteroid discovered from WISE data. August 23, 2011 – WISE confirms the existence of a new class of brown dwarf, the Y dwarf. Some of these stars appear to have temperatures less than 300 K, close to room temperature at about 25 C. Y dwarfs show ammonia absorption, in addition to methane and water absorption bands displayed by T dwarfs. March 14, 2012 Release of the WISE All Sky data to the scientific community. August 29, 2012 WISE reveals millions of black holes. September 20, 2012 WISE was successfully contacted to check its status. August 21, 2013 NASA announced it would recommission WISE with a new mission to search for asteroids. December 19, 2013 NASA releases a new image taken by the reactivated WISE telescope, following an extended cooling down phase. The revived NEOWISE mission is underway in collecting data. March 7, 2014 NASA reports that WISE, after an exhaustive survey, has not been able to uncover any evidence of Planet X, a hypothesized planet within the Solar System. April 26, 2014 the Penn State Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds reports that WISE has found the coldest known brown dwarf, between minus 48 and minus 13 degrees Celsius, 7.2 light years away from the Sun. May 21, 2015 NASA reports the discovery of WISE J2246075705263.5.0, the most luminous known galaxy in the universe. Image Topic History Topic Launch The launch of the Delta II rocket carrying the WISE spacecraft was originally scheduled for December 11, 2009. This attempt was scrubbed to correct a problem with a booster rocket steering engine. The launch was then rescheduled for December 14, 2009. The second attempt launched on time at 14 hours 9 minutes and 33 seconds Coordinated Universal Time 6.09 local PST from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The rocket successfully placed the WISE spacecraft into the planned polar orbit at an altitude of 326 miles 525 kilometers above the Earth. WISE avoided the problem that affected Wide Field Infrared Explorer wire, which failed within hours of reaching orbit in March 1999. In addition, WISE was 1,000 times more sensitive than prior surveys such as IRIS, ACARI, and COBE's DIRBE. Topic. Cold mission A month-long checkout after launch found all spacecraft systems functioning normally and both the low and high rate data links to the operations center working properly. The instrument cover was successfully jettisoned on December 29, 2009. A first light image was released on January 6, 2010, an eight-second exposure in the Carina constellation showing infrared light in false color from three of WISE's four wavelength bands, blue, green and red corresponding to 3.4, 4.6, and 12 micrometers, respectively. 
On January 14, 2010, the WISE mission started its official sky survey. The WISE Group's bid for continued funding for an extended, warm mission, scored low by a NASA review board, in part because of a lack of outside groups publishing on WISE data. Such a mission would have allowed use of the 3.4 and 4.6 micrometers detectors after the last of cryo coolant had been exhausted, with the goal of completing a second sky survey to detect additional objects and obtain parallax data on putative brown dwarf stars. NASA extended the mission in October 2010 to search for near Earth objects. By October 2010, over 33,500 new asteroids and comets were discovered, and over 154,000 Solar System objects were observed by WISE. While active, it found dozens of previously unknown asteroids every day. In total, it captured more than 2.7 million images during its primary mission. Topic NEOWISE pre-hibernation. In October 2010, NASA extended the mission by one month with a program called Near Earth Object Wise NEOWISE. Due to its success, the program was extended a further three months. The focus was to look for asteroids and comets close to Earth orbit, using the remaining post-cryogenic detection capability two of four detectors on WISE work without cryogen. In February 2011, NASA announced that NEOWISE had discovered many new objects in the Solar System, including 20 comets. During its primary and extended missions, the spacecraft delivered characterizations of 158,000 minor planets, including more than 35,000 newly discovered objects. Topic: <laughs> Hibernation and recommissioning. After completing a full scan of the asteroid belt for the NEOWISE mission, the spacecraft was put into hibernation on February 1, 2011. The spacecraft was briefly contacted to check its status on September 20, 2012. On August 21, 2013, NASA announced it would recommission WISE to continue its search for near Earth objects and potentially dangerous asteroids. It would additionally search for asteroids that a robotic spacecraft could intercept and redirect to orbit the Moon. The extended mission would be for three years at a cost of $5 million per year, and was brought about in part due to calls for NASA to step up asteroid detection after the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded over Russia in February 2013. WISE was successfully taken out of hibernation in September 2013. With its coolant depleted, the spacecraft's temperature was reduced from 200 K minus 73 degrees Celsius, minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit, a relatively high temperature resulting from its hibernation, to an operating temperature of 75 K minus 198.2 degrees Celsius, minus 324.7 degrees Fahrenheit by having the telescope stare into deep space. Its instruments were then recalibrated, and the first post hibernation photograph was taken on December 19, 2013. Topic: <laughs> NEOWISE post hibernation. The post hibernation NEOWISE mission was anticipated to discover 150 previously unknown near Earth objects and to learn more about the characteristics of 2,000 known asteroids. Few objects smaller than 100 meters (330 feet) in diameter were detected by NEOWISE's automated detection software, known as the Wise Moving Object Processing Software (WMOPS), because it requires five or more detections to be reported. The average albedo of asteroids larger than 100 meters discovered by NEOWISE is 0.14. As of May 2018, WISE NEOWISE statistics lists a total of 290 near Earth objects, including 2016 WF9 and C, 2016 U1, discovered by the spacecraft, 262 NEOs, subset of NEOs, 047 PHAs, subset of NEOs. 
028 comets off the 262 near-Earth asteroids NES, 47 of them are considered potentially hazardous asteroids PHAs, a subset of the much larger family of NEOs, but particularly more likely to hit Earth and cause significant destruction. NEOs can be divided into NECs comets only and NES asteroids only, and further into subcategories such as Atira or Apohele asteroids, Aten asteroids, Apollo asteroids, Ama asteroids and the potentially hazardous asteroids PHAs. <laughs> <laughs> Data releases On April 14, 2011, a preliminary release of WISE data was made public, covering 57% of the sky observed by the spacecraft. On March 14, 2012, a new atlas and catalogue of the entire infrared sky as imaged by WISE was released to the astronomic community. On July 31, 2012, NEOWISE post-cryo preliminary data was released. A release called Allwise, combining all data, was released on November 13, 2013. NEOWISE data is released annually. In 2018, the reliability of the data was challenged in a paper by Nathan Myharvold, who stated that the NEOWISE data suffers from systemic errors due to the spacecraft being designed to observe very distant objects rather than asteroids in the Solar System. Topic. Discovered objects Topic. Brown dwarfs The nearest brown dwarfs discovered by WISE within 20 light years include Before the discovery of Lumen 16 in 2013, WISE 1506 plus 7027 at a distance of 11.1 plus 2.3 minus 1.3 light years was suspected to be closest brown dwarf on the list of nearest stars also see section map with nearby WISE stars. <laughs> Minor planets WISE is credited with discovering 3,088 numbered minor planets. Examples of the mission's numbered minor planet discoveries include 310071-2010 KR59 336756-2010 NV1 419624-2010 SO16 Gallery Topic. Full sky views by WISE Topic. Selected images by WISE Topic. Map with nearby WISE stars See also Infrared astronomy Nemesis hypothetical star Neocam proposed successor to NEOWISE Taiki hypothetical planet <laughs>